Teaching a dog to walk politely on a leash ranks among the top concerns for which dog owners come to us for help. And for many dogs, there is no quick fix, just a lot of practice. The purpose of this video is to help you and your dog work together as a team by breaking down the complex skill that is loose leash walking into smaller, more manageable components. At the end of this video, we will also discuss some optional training tools for those of you who simply need a quicker fix than this. And yes, I did say that leash manners are a complex skill. For best results, you'll first want to make sure that you and your dog have established some foundational focus and attention skills, as well as a means of delivering positive and negative feedback. Click the video description for links and more information. Remember, just as with any new skill, for best results, you'll want to seek out a low distraction learning environment for your dog. You'll also need to be prepared to reward your pup in some way, whether the reward is treats, toys, affection, or something else. In motion focus exercises, teach your pooch to pay attention while they are walking. The number one behavior you are looking for here is for your dog to make eye contact with you. You don't necessarily need to worry about your dog finding heel position just yet. Here's how to do it. Start by taking a few steps backward, perhaps while using a verbal cue such as let's go or come on and entice your dog to move along with you. As soon as your dog starts coming along with you, begin to give them positive feedback such as verbal praise or clicks from the clicker. Keep an eye out for eye contact. Be ready to deliver a treat to your dog when they look up at you. Continue moving backward and give clicks, praise and treats whenever you receive eye contact. We often introduce this exercise as a walk back focus exercise because it's easier for your dog to make eye contact with you while you are facing one another. This activity becomes a little bit more challenging for your pup when you change direction. It's more difficult to maintain eye contact with you when your dog is walking at your side as opposed to walking towards you from head on. Here are some tips for making this transition. First, would you like your dog to walk on your left side or your right? There's no right or wrong answer. Just pick a side to start with. If your dog is going to walk on your left, use your left hand to give out treats and affection. If your dog is going to be walking on your right, then you'll use your right hand as the reward hand. If you find that your dog is staring at your treat hand instead of your face, try holding the treat in front of your nose instead of your dog's nose. If your pup becomes distracted and runs off ahead of you, Quickly switch back to walking backward as you call their name. Give praise as soon as your pup refocuses on you. Once you have their attention and you're ready to try again, switch directions and begin walking forward once more. After practicing exercise one, your pup should be catching on to the idea of following you around for treats and affection, and you'll be ready to try the positioning exercise. The purpose of the positioning exercise is twofold. It helps shape a heel position at your side while walking, and also teaches your dog to stop and sit at your side while you halt. Just like before, have some treats ready and choose which side you want your dog on. Again, if you want your dog on your left, give them treats in your left hand. If you want them on your right, give out treats in your right hand. If you're using a clicker or holding a leash, hold these things in your opposite hand. Now take a few steps forward, perhaps while also giving a verbal cue like let's go or making smooching sounds to encourage your dog to come along with you. Begin giving verbal praise and clicks the moment your dog starts moving and a treat as soon as they've caught up with you. You can work on an automatic sit too by stopping after a few steps, waiting for your pup to sit, and giving another treat for the halt. Repeat this little activity around the house or around the yard, taking a few steps at a time in different directions, giving positive feedback when your dog moves with you, and treats when they catch up, and when they stop and sit at your side when you stop moving. <laughs> Figure eights are a great exercise for sharpening your dog's focus and position at your side. This activity involves changes in direction and speed, making it necessary for your dog to pay closer attention to you. Now we're beginning to shape a walking heel position and we're refining our expectations of our dog. The key components of the figure eight exercise are changes in direction, such as left turns and right turns, and changes in speed. You can also throw in some halts where your dog stops and sits at your side when you stop moving.
Rita is walking at my left side and I have treats in my left hand. As she makes an inside turn, I use the treats and my voice to motivate her to keep up with me. Here comes a speed and directional change. Speeding up is fun and engaging. Rita. I call Rita's name and guide her with my hand as she makes an outside turn. She immediately receives positive feedback from the clicker. Odie is working on his halt with trainer Jason. When Jason stops walking, Odie is expected to sit at his side. He gets affection and treats when he does. Jason halts, but Odie doesn't notice, so Jason uses leash pressure to stop Odie from wandering further away. Odie stops, but the leash pressure continues because Odie also needs to sit. Jason gives a hint, a hand on Odie's rump. The moment Odie sits, the leash pressure disappears and the rewards begin. Yes. There's an abundance of training tools on the market that claim to cure pulling. While there's really no substitute for training your dog, here are a few relatively gentle tools that might work for you. The Weiss Walkie Leash discourages pulling by putting pressure on your dog's chest. Clip the leash to your dog's collar and adjust the collar so that the metal ring on the Weiss Walkie is on the top. Wrap the leash around your dog's barrel and then feed the leash through the metal ring, like this. Slip leads work great for many dogs and are simple to use, but it's important to use slip leads properly. Start by slipping the lead around your dog's neck. If your dog will be walking on your left, the lead should look like a P when you slide it over the head. If your dog will be walking on your right, the leash should look like a number nine. Position the lead so that it is high and snug on the neck and adjust the stopper to help hold the leash in place, like this. Okay. Head harnesses, such as the Halty and the Gentle Leader, are another popular anti-pull tool. When fitted properly, you should be able to fit a finger or two under the neck strap. Attach the safety link to your dog's usual collar, as shown in the photo. Attach the leash to the ring directly under your dog's jaw. Note that you may need to condition your dog to wear a head halter calmly. This may take time and patience. Do not jerk your dog's head around. This is not good practice anyway, but especially while your dog is wearing a head halter. You don't want to risk injury to their neck. Subscribe and be notified when we post new content. Thanks for watching.